Welcome back to the Fox Chamber. Um, yeah, you know, I've been going through a few things, but uh, I'm gonna try to get back to work. So uh, I'm gonna let y'all in on, on a little secret. I think I've had ever since Ford Takeover is that this bad boy right here, when I was getting ready to leave Ford Takeover, loaded up on the truck, I put it up on the trailer and I was gonna move the trailer a little bit you know, didn't have it cinched down, but I had the parking brake on. So I said, let me just move up a little bit. I moved up a little bit. This son of a gun rolled off the trailer and I damaged the uh, radiator core support. And, uh, and luckily it didn't break anything. Nothing's leaking, nothing's out of, out of whack or anything like that. But yeah, I'll let y'all in on something that's, uh, that happened that I never told anybody yet, but eventually I was going to, and now's the time. But let me see if I can let you have a look at exactly what's damaged and what we're gonna do to fix it. As you can see right here, as much as you can see, it is bad damaged. Right here, it is not supposed to hang down that far. You know that. But. What I am going to do, or what I need to make back up a little bit, what I had planned, I thought I was going to have to take the core support, take, you know, take all the front end off, take the core support and everything out and put a new one in. And I was like, I really don't want to get into that because you got to be very, very precise when you put in uh, the radiator core support. Because if it's off, all your body panels are going to be off, out of whack, whatever. But luckily, I thought about something went to LMR's um, page and this is what I found. Yeah, this is what I found. You can take the, cut the bottom part of the core support off the part that I got damaged and put in this. That saves me from having to redo that dog on core support. I think I just got to take the front bumper off all the, the little the headlights and all the other thing, the, the, the headlights, the front bumper cover, you know, all the other little stuff like that and all the wires and stuff that's associated with the core support, drain the radiator, get it out the way and cut off the damaged part that lower section that this is gonna be uh, filling in for. So luckily I found that and maybe that'll minimize the damage I'll do to the Fox. <laughs> so uh, once I get, I'm not probably not gonna record taking off the headlights, the bumper cover, radiator, all that stuff. When I get down to the meat and potatoes of the thing, get ready to cut off the, uh, the bottom part of the core support, I'll get back with you then. So y'all just hang out with me and we'll get there in a second. All right, uh, just a little update. I guess I'll, I'll do a little updates or whatnot. So I got the wheel and everything taken off. I got the inner liner pulled out so you can get to all of those bolts that are holding on the front fender or the front bumper cover or whatever you want to call it. It's a little easier this way. I mean, I had started to uh, just kind of reach down through the, the holes in the top up there and do it, but I'm like, you know what? Uh, There's got to be an easier way. So yeah, I kind of looked it up online like everybody else does and pulled out the inner liner on both sides just to have a little bit better access. And I won't maybe bust my knuckles up trying to get these bolts and stuff out. So uh, next thing's next, I'm gonna start pulling all the, uh, the bolts and everything out like on the bumper cover and everything but i found out i ain't got to take the headlights and stuff out so i'm gonna leave that intact and just uh disconnect it from the disconnect the harnesses from the headlights and pull it all out but uh i'll let you know when i get there and you can check out what i got going on hang in there yep got the bumper off not that hard if you got the the inner liners out and you go from under the wheel well 
definitely a lot easier. Cause I was gonna try to stick my hands down in this little area, trying to pinch it off or whatever. But yep, I got it off. And yeah, right there, you can see the, the damage right there. Yeah, terrible. But I gotta cut this this piece right here off from, from this little support right here down. I gotta cut off that all the way across. And from what I saw, I don't think that I'm gonna have to um, drain the radiator and all that. I think I've just hold it up. I think I looked on LMR at one of their um, at one of their videos or whatever, and I think they just supported the radiator. So I'm gonna do the same thing: support the radiator so I can uh, kind of soft mount this thing and get it in there where I can uh, where I, where I'll know that it's straight, basically. But uh, yeah, got it off and. And don't look too bad up under there. You can see this piece right here, like it's leaning back a little bit. Yeah, little damage, but I'm, I'm gonna have to mock up something for my condenser because that little, uh, because this piece right here, the tubular support, don't have provisions for the, uh, the condenser. So I'm gonna have to mock something up, use the brackets or whatever for that maybe weld them to the to the tubular support or something but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it but yeah everything's off get back with you in a few well after looking at everything for a little while i realized yeah if i need to take the radiator out because it's going to kind of be in the way when i get ready to cut it as you see i took the radiator and stuff out i took the the rest of that the bumper uh, support and all the internals for the bumper took them out and I left the condenser in because I think I got some charge on this thing I really don't want to bust it loose so I think I can get it out of the way where I can I can cut it off here and cut it off right here for the, uh, the tubular support and still have this out of the way I can you know move it to one side or the other to get it out of the way I don't think that's gonna be an issue and cuz I gotta have it um, I gotta find some way to mount it anyway. But I can better show you now the damage that your boy caused. Yep, look at it. It is bent up bad. Like I said, it rolled off the trailer. You know, I wasn't thinking, but I thought that parking brake would at least hold it for a, a little bit, but I knew a parking brake was on because I checked the parking brake when I got in there and it was on. So anyway, that's where I'm at now. I just got to get in here and cut off right here, all the way across to under here and the same on the other side. I got this right here. I think I'm going to need to get me some more blades though. I do not think this is going to do the job. I'm going to have to, um, I think go grab something from Harbor Freight. I do believe something else from Harbor Freight, I should say. But this is from Harbor Freight, but I think I need something a little bit stronger, possibly an air tool or whatever to get through this thing or a Sawzall they might have. But it's gonna be a little bit of a job. Yeah, see right there, I gotta cut all this off right across there just to drop that off, smooth it all back down. I have the stuff to smooth it down with. I just don't have anything to cut it off with. So I'm finna go and check and see if I can find something, you know, relatively cheap because I don't plan on doing a ton of work like this, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get something halfway decent. So uh, I'll get back with you in a few. Well, back from Harbor Freight, and this is what I got. I got a little Bauer Sawzall. You know, I do like Bauer. I've got a bunch of stuff from Bauer, from Harbor Freight, and it's always been pretty decent. So I decided I'd get this one right here. I started to get the cordless one, but I figured that the uh, the corded one or whatever, it would be a little stronger. So that's why I got it. But yeah, Bauer. And I moved a couple things out the way or whatever so we can get in there and slice this bad boy up. Yeah, messy, messy, messy. All right, I'll get back with you in a few, or if I run into any problems, I'll let you know. I'm just gonna saw it off and I need to film all that. But um, get back with you in a little bit. All right, this is literally probably about three or four minutes later. I got that thing cut it like it wasn't nothing hardly. 
yeah, I had to find the right angle. But I went in from the this side and went that way. That was about the best way. Cause I tried to cut it from this way and I'll go from back to front. Didn't really work out that good when I went from front to back and went through it like a knife through butter. So now I just gotta do the other side. Yeah, went a little bit faster than I thought. Thought I was gonna be working on that for a little while, but uh, let me get this other side cut off and get back with you shortly. Well, I got this side cut. It didn't go quite, quite as well as the first side, but it did come off. I've gotta cut this little, this little section hanging down right here off. Make it nice and smooth so it's level all the way across there. But yeah, that's what I gotta do now. Yeah, basically cut this little piece right here that I got cut off at an angle. Kind of blade, I guess, went cattywomp or something and started going down. I just went ahead and cut it on off so I could just clean it up a little later. Got it out of the way basically. But yeah, this is that, this is that. That lower portion, yeah, it's been beat to death. Yeah, I didn't do all of it. I did some of it, but yeah, it's gone now. So now I just gotta clean this little this little piece off right here and uh, get back with you. All right, got that little triangle looking piece gone. And food for thought, pay attention where your blade is because I was paying attention to what I was actually cutting, but my blade was in another spot as well. Right here. I put the little guide or whatever right here, and I'm paying attention to back here, but I was trying to roll it around this right here, if it makes sense that I wouldn't cut this. But in the process of actually cutting this, I stopped paying attention to this and started cutting into it. And I did the other side the same way before I knew it. Yeah, cut into this right here a little bit. But um, I will probably shoot some uh, weld on that just to uh, strengthen it up and then grind it back down smooth. So that's not a big issue, but I have the pieces cut from here. So now that's all cleaned up. Now I just gotta do a little grinding to make it nice and smooth so that the lower tubular support will fit. But yeah, it's coming along pretty good. Like I was saying, I still got my um, condenser out the way and yes, yeah, moving right along. I'm probably gonna be done for the day. I mean, I'm doing work on this a little bit at a time, but I'm getting a little hungry. I don't think I'm gonna go eat something. But anyway, um, yeah, I just gotta grind on this thing a little bit and uh, clean it up. Get me some of that uh, well through primer. I think I need as well to keep this thing from rusting. Get some of that well through primer, put on there after I get done grinding everything down nice and smooth and kind of test fit this thing. So I'll get back with you in a little bit. All right, this is the next day. Of course, like I said, I had to go eat or give me a little something to eat and think about exactly what I was gonna do to this thing. And y'all, I got it all, um, I cut that little piece off, you know what I said, it was cut at an angle and I got it all mocked up completely mocked up everything and surprisingly myself you know it's it looked like it's gonna work here's what I got so I got it all mocked up back set in there I got the jack holding the uh, tubular support in and I got a couple of little uh, blocks holding up the condenser to see how it's gonna go because remember I said this doesn't have provisions for the condenser on it. So I'm gonna have to take the brackets off of the old one and weld them to the new one to support the uh, condenser on this one. And from where it's sitting at, I'm gonna be able to, to weld it on and get it to fit. I just gotta, you know, do a little bit more moving and flanagling this thing around to get it to fit exactly like I want. Cause this side has got a little bit more space than this side next to the radiator. But as you can see, I got the brackets just hung on there right now. It's just hit, sitting right there and right there, able to just sit in it really close to the support. So I'm like, all right, this this actually might work. And the and the cooler, uh, this cooler line for the um, uh, crap. What does this thing go to? The uh, the 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 steering pump. Yeah. <laughs> 
the, the cooling line for the steering pump just run up front and I, I kind of bolted it back in right there and running it back around the tubular support. And I think this is gonna work, y'all. I think it is. Like I said, I had it all bolted in, got the top in, you know, and the spacing right here is pretty decent. It looks like it's about where it was, kind of straight up and down. But I think it's, uh, let me see, how did I see that? I think it's shifted more toward the driver's side a little bit. So I think I'm gonna have to kind of shift it back toward the passenger side, probably like a quarter of an inch, you know, maybe a half inch tops. But a quarter of an inch, I gotta shift it back, the whole thing back toward the um, the passenger side. I think I could probably do it um, just on top of the the little uh, the little things right here, the little rubber pieces that's in there. I think I might be able to shift it a little bit to the toward the driver's side, ever so slightly, to get it to fit a little bit better. But yeah, I'm like, wow, this actually fits, and actually look like it's gonna work. But yes, it's all mocked up, and I'm I'm relatively pleased with it. You know, I just gotta do a little bit more cleaning of the little area back here that I'm gonna weld on, this side and the other side, and um, paint the, the tubular support itself, you know, with some type of black paint, and get some uh, weldable paint for the upper portion of it, just so it won't rust. But um, all in all, it's it looks like it's gonna work, so. I'm gonna uh, get this thing, I'm taking it all back apart and I kinda don't even wanna take it apart cause I probably am not gonna get it back to this exact same spot. I just know it. But uh, as for right now, I like the way this is going together. So far, so good. Get back with you in a few. All right, y'all, I'm back. It's been, I know at least a week cause I've been a little bit busy and by now you've been seeing that red thing over there but I've been busy with it and just a lot of other personal stuff I've been still dealing with a little bit. But anyhow, I'm not gonna bore you with that. I got this thing mocked up and uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm getting ready to do because this doesn't, like I mentioned before, have the provisions for the condenser on it. So I mocked up um, the, the, lo the, lower, um, the lower support portion of the uh, condenser, the, um, the lower brackets for the condenser, I got those and I'm gonna weld them to the tubular support uh, that I got from LMR. And hopefully that works. I got them, as you can see, I got it tucked up under the, the upper brackets and I got it in the lower bracket and that side is on the floor for right now. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tack, tack weld this lower bracket to this and then take it off and then uh, basically just put a better weld on it so it'll be a little bit stronger and hopefully that'll that'll work so i'll get back with you in a few after i get that bad boy welded up i'm not gonna record the welding portion of it you know what welding looks like and that awesome welding i did on the trailer when i put those tracks on there so um i'm gonna put you down for a second and get this thing tacked up and i'll show you what i got when i got it tacked up before i take it off well, I got it tack welded in for the most part. Eh, I guess it'll hold for right now. You can see it just got a little tack on that side, a little tack on that side, and the same with the with the other right there. So now I'm just gonna take the radiator and stuff out and carefully <laughs> disconnect all of this stuff up here without breaking those wells or whatever, and then drop the uh, tubular support and go outside, weld it up a little bit better where I got a little bit more air. I got the garage doing stuff open, but um, put a little bit better welds on there, probably weld it from the underside just to make sure they're not gonna move or anything. But right now from, from the little mock-up, I believe it's gonna work because it's sitting relatively in the same spot it was before I took it out like straight up and down, not leaning or anything like that. I think it's got like a slight lean from the bottom out, but I think it'll still be all right. So let me get this thing broke down and uh, do some more welds and stuff. Yeah, got it all tacked up and I'm gonna throw some weld probably right up under there, right up under there. Same on this side, there and there. 
and roll it over and probably some right up in there and same on the other side but yeah i'm gonna make that work because this i do have air conditioning in the in the white fox so uh i kind of want to keep it so maybe this will help me out which i think it will i mean because it's on there pretty good at least the tack weld is so i weld a little bit on the bottom a little bit on the top maybe it won't warp it or nothing like that or or pull it you know how welding does it'll you know pull it down or pull it up whichever side i'm welding on hopefully i'll do a little bit on one side a little bit on the other side maybe it'll stay evened out but for the most part i think this is going to work yeah just took the little brackets tacked them on there all right got the wells and everything done and y'all after you know when i when i put them on there they looked a little bad when i first started uh welding them up and looked at them and then when i brushed them off yeah they still look terrible so uh here's what i got yeah they're enough to hold ain't the best in the world my uh welding teacher in high school mr arnett would roll around roll over in his grave looking at these wells god rest his soul but they're gonna hold I already tried to bend it and move it with, you know, unnecessary type force and it didn't move. So, and I tried to put the majority of the heat in the actual tube itself because that's the stronger portion, but yeah, that's what came out. So far it looks all right. I mean, it's gonna hold, it's not gonna go anywhere. I mean, they're on there. They're gonna hold the condenser fine. Granted, nobody's gonna look at them. So they'll be all right. So what I got to do now is just um, get some weld through primer, clean up the, the portion that it's going to weld to on the uh, on the car itself, and then prime this up with some uh, weld through primer, or uh, paint this up with some weld through primer and get everything put back into place and um, get this thing welded in so we can get this puppy back on the freaking road. I'm sick of it looking at it. I'm sick of looking at it like this. Especially, you know, it's gonna meet his new brother over there. All right, let's get this primer and stuff on there and uh, I'll get back with you in a few. Actually, I gotta go buy some, so yeah. Almost got ahead of myself and <laughs> not showing y'all anything, but I get I went ahead and set the the condenser in its spot and it's sitting pretty good. But if you can see it, there's the well on the inside right there. It ain't, it ain't going nowhere. I mean, it's ugly as sin, <laughs> but it ain't going nowhere. Yeah, it ain't going nowhere. Just like the, the rails on the trailer, they're not going anywhere. And I shook this thing as hard as I could shake it with sitting on the uh, stands and stuff, the jack stands. But yeah, it ain't going nowhere. The radio is just gonna be sitting on it. It's good. So um, I'm gonna set the radiator and stuff in there and make sure this thing is all, um, I guess like I had it before, pretty much. And uh, I get back with you in a few. Well, set the radiator in. Everything, well, I only got one clamp up here holding it in place, but the gappage is still nice and even. I still got the same space down the bottom. Remember I said this side right here is a little tighter than the other, but it's in there, probably maybe half inch, maybe difference, maybe even a quarter. But yeah, it's in there, it's sitting like it's supposed to. So we just gotta uh, pull all that stuff back out, paint over the little welded spots so that won't rust and we gonna be in business. All right, now that I got that all welded in, of course y'all remember seeing that. This is like the next day. But now before I forget, I'm gonna go ahead and I already started repairing the little, the cut I made right here. And on the other side, right there, I'm already starting to repair it. Just putting some welds in there, letting it cool down a little bit so I don't warp it. And uh, I'm gonna probably uh, do a little bit more hacking 
right up in them little slots or whatever, just so it'll be solid again. And remember, always watch where that whole blade is going, not just the portion that you're actually cutting with. Food for thought. All right, got that portion all tacked up, nice and neat. And that's what we got. Yeah, looks pretty good. It didn't really warp anything. I think I looked at it from the top and everything looked like it's relatively straight still. So I think we're gonna be okay. Just gotta throw a little bit of primer or paint on there just to cover that up so it won't rust. I think we'll be in good shape. Yeah, pay attention. And let's move on. Right. I don't know how good you can see it, but and you see I got it, got it coated with a little bit of protectant paint on it. Keep the rust off. And that side over there as well. He is good to go. Nice and protected, shouldn't rust now. Got a nice coat over it. And of course, my little mishap. Got it covered up too. All right. Um, I am not gonna wait for that paint to dry. It's, I think it's out of my way. I'm gonna go ahead and start bolting in the, the condenser, put the radiator and everything back in, get them bolts and stuff in there and start putting this thing back together. I'm tired of this thing sitting here looking like this. So um, when I get all this stuff bolted in, the radiator and stuff bolted back in, well, y'all know how it goes. I'm just gonna show you after I get everything in and before we put the, the front uh, bumper and the um, everything back together. So y'all chill out. All right, the front is just sitting up there right now. It's not bolted in. I'm checking all the fitment and everything. And so far everything looks okay. Except the, um, the power steering, I guess it's the power steering and power steering rack fluid uh, cooling line, I guess you want to call it. Yeah, the power steering and power or power steering uh, cooling line right here that runs up in front of the radiator and the condenser. It's a little bit blocking the uh, turn signal, but I could just loosen this up, just rotate it just a little bit if I need to take this out. So that's no biggie. I got it twisted that way just to keep the uh, line off of the uh, tubular support so it won't just wear a hole in anything. But now everything else looks like it fits okay. I got it kind of pushed up kind of tight, haven't bolted nothing down like I'm saying. But I think I'm in good shape right now though. Yeah, everything looks like it's going back together pretty good. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go find some, a couple of bolts. The ones that run right through here those two, I don't know where those are. I found everything else, but I'm just missing those two. So I'm gonna have to probably run to Lowe's or somewhere to grab a couple of those. But yeah, so far it's going back together okay. All right, front end is bolted in, nice and snug. Well, snug for what it was anyway, but yeah. And one thing I did know, or I found out, let me show you, is that, Get your set up so you can see. These upper bolts right there are different sizes than the lower ones down here. These right here, different sizes than the ones up top. That's crazy, but I found that out. I don't know if that's just these because of somebody took them loose and put the different ones in there, but yeah, just found that out. Those are different than these, so. And one thing I did find out too, there's a little piece, I should have showed you. There's a little piece that's like right inside of here. There's like a little half moon shape. Put all of that stuff in loosely <laughs> before you tighten it up. Cause I had put the, the driver's side in and left that little moon shape out and I tightened everything down. I couldn't hardly get it in. So I had to loosen up some of the, uh, the bolts back in there, slide it in and retighten it down. But it's all in. This thing is nice and snug now. I just got to put the, um, the fender well uh, covers in there and uh, 
that'll be it. And I put the wheels on, this thing will be good to go. But check this out though. Tu oh, check this out though, the tubular support, it looks nice now. Yeah, it looks a lot cleaner than it did. Cause all that was jacked up. But now let me get the, um, the fender well stuff done and get back with you in a few. Man, everything is back together. Got it sitting on the ground, fender well covers and all that crap in. Filling it up with uh, some Prestone 50-50 mix. Man, I love how this thing looks. But yep, yeah, all back together. Trying to burp the system and everything and get it filled up. Had to charge the battery up because some odd reason it was dead even though I took it all the way out. Probably because of the cold weather. But yeah, cleaned up the look. Oh, this is how bad the other one looks. Yeah, look how bad this thing is. This thing is beat up. You let me know if you've seen one worse than that. I mean, it's literally twisted down from where it was supposed to be sitting at. Yeah, Ford takeover and that's where I tore it up at. Yep, yeah, back on, back, back together now. Just getting ready to get everything back together. But that's not really part of this video doing all that. My main thing was just uh, showing, putting on the new lower tubular core support or radiator support, but it's in there and I like it. So one last look. And let's see if I can get you up under here. Probably can't. Uh, yeah, there that is. Clean up the look a lot. Yeah, looks a whole lot better than it did. So anyhow, I'm gonna close this bad boy out and uh, more videos coming. Catch y'all in the next one.